Hey, how y'all doing? This is Brightus Graphite, and I'm doing another speed build of a modern farmhouse that I literally found the floor plan on Google when I searched up Modern Family Home. Uh, I did do a speed build video, recorded it, and was about to edit it and everything, but I really didn't like the house. It's actually to the right of this one, and I have already deleted that one and the video that went with it. Uh, so, I'm doing this one now, and trying to get the uh, floor plan right, and I've had to play around with the garage a bit. Uh, it doesn't end up being like a garage garage, more of like a den area, uh, than, you know, a typical garage. I feel like the hallways in this house end up being a little odd, but I also just don't like building houses with a lot of hallways. Uh, I ended up using platforms for a stoop instead of doing a raised house. I just felt like that would have looked better with the pseudo garage since we still don't have cars. Uh, and the only way you can get any transportation other than walking is if you have uh, expansion packs, which I do have university, so I do have bikes, but, well, one bike that you can change the color of that only teenagers and up can use, because that makes sense. Uh, I was going to put the name of this house in both English and Spanish, but the uh, title thing does not let me put that many words, so it is just in English. Uh, I kind of want to do more stuff with Spanish along with it, both for the fact that I need to actually keep up with my Spanish, because I haven't been able to practice it for a while, and also that just more people can understand things. Uh, it might be through subtitles or whatever, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I do like this house a lot better than the other one that I did. Uh, I don't know what I was really doing with that pantry thing. I don't even know why it's... Whenever you do floor plans in The Sims, it's kind of odd how... Because they don't use the pantries as pantries or the closets as closets. The closest thing you can do is make a closet and put a bunch of wardrobes or dressers in there, which is what I did, except for the fact that uh, the master bedroom's walk-in closet was in a weird spot and the lot wasn't wide enough to hold it, but they have a walk-in bathroom instead of the walk-in closet, so. Uh, I think I had forgotten to put columns on that porch because I didn't think it needed it until I went back and looked at it later and realized that I probably should have. So more than likely when it's uploaded to the gallery, I'll uh, put a uh, few columns there and some on that back porch. It doesn't look like it needs it on that back deck, but I might be wrong. I'll have to look at it. Uh, the roofing actually went fairly simple with this house compared to the other ones that I've done. Uh, only thing is that it looks a bit awkward to have it long like that when it's just any of the roofs in general. The picture that I was using with the floor plan had this like super shiny marble tile thing in front of the garage and as a walkway. I end up changing that because I really don't like it. 
and it also had this reflective mirror garage door. Uh, I did not like that either. I did try to keep it for a little bit like that and it just looked off. Uh, the windows were, they weren't horribly hard. It's just that we don't have a lot of good windows in this game. But my favorite windows are the uh, single tile windows from Realm of Magic. Those are the ones that I usually use the most because they look the most normal compared to the other ones. Especially if you're doing a more modern build or something like that. Uh, that great room thing, uh, I never know what to really do with the great rooms other than maybe put another couch and maybe a stereo or something because it doesn't make sense to have a living room and a great room but uh, it had a dining room in the living room so I probably should have left the uh, one closest to the front of the house as still the dining room or maybe put the dining room where the great room is but I don't know if I'll fix that or not because that's how it was in the floor plan so hopefully it looks okay and I'm just overthinking it which is probably what it is I tend to overthink a lot when it comes to uh floor plans and all that it would have made more sense but I did managed to cram the dining room in that living area and look half decent. Uh, it does look a little cluttered for a big house, but I'm pretty sure the only reason it looks that awkward is because it should have been a wider house and I was using a very narrow lot, which for some reasons The Sims has a lot of narrow lots they're super long so the dimensions are big but the front of the house is for some reason the wrong side I have no idea why and so it makes it difficult to try and put something in the right orientation and fit all of it uh, but I did manage to cram this one to look okay-ish. I might actually go back and put a separate dining and living area for when I upload this and take different screenshots than what I have because I am just thinking about it and thinking that it looks way too awkward and cluttered. Uh, I also tried to keep the white and brown themes for most of it with hints of blue and like the furniture uh, and I guess that looks okay. This kitchen isn't like a top grade kitchen. It had this like what I'm assuming was supposed to be an in cabinet microwave but I couldn't really make it super well in The Sims, so I worked with it and made it vaguely resemble one uh, by just putting a counter, a microwave, and then a cabinet over top of it to look sort of like it. But I did eventually work it out. Uh, I wanted to try and fit the trash can somewhere because in the video that I didn't upload, I had way too much trouble trying to figure out where to put the trash can. So I just used one of the counter spaces to make it look like a little cubby area and just put it under that. 
uh, there's not a whole lot of matching wood swatches, so I basically the entire time I'm on the bottom floor play around with the tables and chairs. Uh, but they do eventually get done. I was originally going to do that maroony red as a uh, accent color, but I didn't like it and there wasn't a whole lot of furniture that really matched it. So I ended up changing it to that pastel blue. I tried to make the uh, breakfast nook area and that great room area have more of a minty color, I guess, because of the Discovery University couches. Uh, but uh, the swatches never match in this game. So that was a fun time. Uh, I tried to do a custom uh, TV stand type of thing, but it looked very awkward just with the layout of the living area, dining area, which is why I'm going to go back and move them some things around uh, to look much less awkward and crammed and because I felt like for such a big house having one single table would look awkward and it's all off-centered and it 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 could have been better but I will go back and end up changing some things around to make it more decent uh I actually used a platform as a end table because it kind of meshes better with just having the couches by it. It looks less awkward because for some reason the end tables are just a little too small to really work with the couches. Uh, so... Yeah, I never, I should probably just, anytime there's a mention of a great room and it happens to be right by the kitchen, just turn it into a dining room because it, it just doesn't make any sense to me why you would have a second entertaining area, but it's right by the kitchen. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's a rich person thing and I don't understand. Uh... I did end up going the stereotypical black and white for the modern kitchen and there's no backsplash but I feel like a backsplash would look weird in this house because it's supposed to be more sleek uh, I feel like I could have turned the back part of the garage into a bedroom and uh, keep it like that but I feel like it does work as a sort of hobby and uh, den area too. I did try to fit a bar in there and I ended up moving it to the hallway, which I guess makes sense, but I might also move that to the dining area if I even keep it at all. Uh, I did want to put some beams in so that I could actually set some lights up there and it look more natural and not just a floating light. Uh, I don't know how well the fences match, but I feel like they work pretty okay with the layout and su stuff. Uh, I have uh, been doing all of New Crest and the different sections I've done as different parts, like that back part I've done as sort of a old timey part that still has some of the original buildings 
and even the newer buildings still have the brick and that kind of look to it. Uh, and then the uh, part with the Twin Oracle lot, I made that into the downtown area, put a school there, uh, things like that, and an apartment complex. Uh, and I uploaded all of them to the gallery so far, and I probably will keep doing that. I don't know if I'm gonna make sims that live there or not, but I do have, like, reasons why things are there and that kind of stuff. I was gonna put, like, counters all over, and I thought that would look too weird in a den area, so I tried making the shelves or uh, end tables look like smaller counters. Uh, I ended up only using it for the one part with the microwave and just putting a coffee pot on top of the micro uh, fridge instead uh, because I felt like that looked slightly better than what it was because I felt like the counters would have been too big of a, I don't know, it just would have looked odd in a den area like that. Uh, yeah, I ended up using the city living slats instead so that I, it just looked better. I don't know why, but the mirrors just didn't look quite right when I was doing that. And if I wanted to use any other mirror, you can't move them down any. You can move them up with the nine and zero keys, but you can't move them down for some reason, even though most of the time with the mirrors in The Sims, you want to move them down because they're oddly high. Uh, so I ended up just using the slats because I thought that they looked better. Uh, I ended up using basically the same bush for the landscaping. I could have done better with that, but I did put some wildflowers and kind of lift them up to make it look like they were coming through the bushes. Uh, I tried to decorate it with more plants because there's not a lot of good decoration unless you go into debug. Uh, and I could have, but I feel like some of the debug would have just looked odd in this house. Uh, I did put the washer and dryer upstairs just because it makes more sense with the fact that all of the bathrooms with a shower and a bath are upstairs, so it wouldn't make any sense to have it downstairs when, you know, all of the places that people actually change are upstairs. Uh, and that bathroom originally was supposed to be like a Mary Jane bathroom. Is it Mary Jane or Jack and Jill? I don't know. Uh, where there's not one single door, but it's an entrance to both of the bedrooms that are connected to it. And I don't really like those, and I feel like they're weird. And on top of that, there was another bathroom in the hallway. So I ended up just having one entrance to that corner bathroom and uh, putting the, uh, just letting the other bathroom have the same entrance. Uh, so basically every room has its own bathroom and then there's an extra half bathroom downstairs. Uh, I ended up making a little coffee area uh, 
for the master bedroom's deck, which I like. I always kind of do that with the bigger, more luxurious houses whenever there's a deck as I put a coffee station or a tea station or something like that so they can like sit out on the deck and drink their morning coffee or whatever, you know. Uh, I did try and use the same like two bedroom ideas that I had with the other house uh, where one of them had the kind of blue, yellow, and white, but that one was uh, was going to the Foxbury University, and the other one was a big soccer fan, and they were uh, going to Brightchester. So maybe like two rivaling twins or something like that. Uh, I didn't quite know what else to really put in the room for the Foxbury, Foxbury, uh, Sim, because I didn't feel like that person would really do much of the technological degrees in that university, and at the time I couldn't really remember what other distinguished degrees they had, so I just decided to keep it more simple, but I did make this sim a big soccer fan, uh, and I ended up putting a few end tables by the bed and kind of extending that desk with an end table to make it look like there's more storage and like because I feel like just having one dresser can be a little bit, you know, like, sure, they can hold all their clothes in it or whatever, but it kind of implies that Sims don't have any other things, and it looks a little odd to me, so I make end tables that have drawers or put end tables that look like cubbies and corners and stuff to make it look more lived in, even if there's not a bunch of clutter all over things. Uh, so then that way they can, you know, look slightly more lived in. I'm just adding a few more details to the downstairs, like a placemat and then the better lights instead of just the, uh, regular ones that I use just to see when I'm uh, building to make it look a bit better. But that's basically all for this build and there will be screenshots of the uh, fixed version instead of this one. And if you like this then like and subscribe.